if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 6 of the AC Milan career mode here on FIFA 16. We start with a quote-unquote away game against Inter Milan, although obviously we share the same stadium, so it's pretty much a home game. So we start with that, which is going to be obviously going to be a massive game. We've had an indifferent start to the season, result-wise, performance-wise though, we've been very, very good. So I'm hoping to continue that today with uh, the game against Inter and then we'll push on into uh, the later games in the episode, but we'll start with this massive one against our local rivals. Our first Inter Milan, our first Milan derby comes very early on in our debut season. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you drop the video a thumbs up rating and subscribe to the channel as well to ensure you don't miss out on any further content. And I don't want to waste any time. I'm desperate to get going with this. Let's see if we can get a win in our first Milan derby. Got a free kick after three minutes. I'm going to take it short and go to Maori and then We'll look inside here to uh, El Sharawi and then Jeremy Menez is back through this gap. Try and dance around the man. We'll have the shot. Menez off the bar with the first chance of the game. Backer with a follow-up. It's going to go wide. It's going to be a goal kick. Now, if I pause a minute... Oh, they stopped talking. I've actually turned on the... I've turned on the Italian commentators just to give it a little bit more of... Uh, a little bit more of a, an authentic feel for this series. I've never really done that before, and perhaps I should do. Maybe on the My Player, considering we're at Barcelona, I'll change the commentators to Spanish as well. So uh, it, it just feels a little bit more authentic in the background. But there's our first chance of the game. Menez having a, a shot that comes back off the bar. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. And it won't be long before we can get ourselves in front. I have changed El Shah's number, as you can see there, to number 92 as well, as per your request. I've also retired the number three and the number six numbers. Unfortunately, it gave our new signings the number three and number six as they were uh, obviously free but of course they're uh, retired for Paolo Maldini and Franco Baresi so uh, I've retired those numbers again in this career mode save so that uh, we stick with the traditions of AC Milan and obviously like we say we've got the uh, oh that was a terrible pass we've got the Italian commentators on now as well are you offside Palacio? you are so we'll see how we get on Jovetic, oh, that's a nice quick turn. And Davide Santon will get it to Biabiani, who's again beating the defender to the ball, but Elshar gets the tackle in, working hard to win the ball back for his team, which is what we like to see. We'll draw this through to Menez, and I'm going to try and catch him on a quick ish breakaway. There's some space out wide for Niang now, which he hasn't had to this point in the game. And he skipped past Alex Tellez as well, or Tellez, I don't know how to pronounce it, to be completely honest, because he's Brazilian, of course, so I don't know whether the, the L's are pronounced as an L or as a as a kind of Y sound like they are in Spanish. Of course, Brazilians speak Portuguese, so uh, again, my Portuguese and my foreign pronunciations aren't the best, but Antonelli will get this through to Menez, will get the turn. It's not Menez, it's Mauri. Mauri with a shot, good save down low by the goalkeeper. Backer tries to win it back, but can't. Elsa will recover the ball. We'll get it quickly through the gap to Montalivo, who's only in the starting lineup, of course, thanks to the uh, injury to our new signing. Uh, Jorginho, who unfortunately is uh, missing out for uh, about six weeks, I think it was. Handanovic, though, on hand to make a couple of saves there to stop us from taking the lead. We might still have another opportunity if Menez can get past Davide Santo, which he's trying to do, but does, but then Medel tackles him and nutmegs him at the same time as if to make it all the more embarrassing. Medel into Jovetic. Bit of a fancy pass. Romagnoli will cut that out. Thank you very much. Menez hopefully just bursts around the outside. William Cavallo gets in a good tackle, but we will come away on the counter-attack. We'll give this to Maori. And he can go back to Menez. And Menez hopefully... No, Backer, you stop running offside, Carlos Backer. You did that time and time again in the last episode. He's onside here, and the ball might reach him. It has, and he's got the turn in. What's a risky challenge. Montalivo, though. What a save from Handanovic, getting his right arm out to it. Backer took an age to actually get hold of that ball. And Montalivo, that's a great save. Really, really good save. Right, Montalivo to take the corner. In it comes. It's deep, but we win the header. Oh, and again, Handanovic makes a good save. El Sarawi with a powerful header. We'll try again. We'll look about the penalty spot. That isn't the penalty spot, but it's going to find a Milan player, hopefully on the edge of the box. Tosilio heads it down, but Jovetic smashes it out. Bibiani down the line to Jovetic. Romagnoli trying to stick with him, but he's quick. It's Stefan. What a ball in. That would have been an incredible goal if Palacio had just glanced that in at the near post. Great run, really good run, and a decent header too. And Donnarumma, I don't think, would have got anywhere near it had it actually been destined for that top corner. Thankfully, though, thankfully though side netting, and we live to fight another day. Still nil-nil. Are they making a change? I think they made a change. I'm not sure. They have. Felipe Melo's come on for William Carvalho. That hopefully will be easily cleared, but he's only... As far as Gary Medell, who thankfully isn't the best in the shot. Melo gets his first touch. Out to Jovetic to Perisic. 
five-star weak foot on Ivan Perisic, or at least he used to have a five-star weak foot. Don't know whether he does this year. Hopefully, though, we won't be able to let him use it, and we haven't. I'm going to make a change of my own in a moment, I think, just to try and freshen things up, because the chances haven't quite been as free-flowing in this half as they were in the first, but there's space here for Niang, and if he can burst around the outside, we try and turn his side middle, we will. Niang with the shot is well blocked by Alex Tejas. Really good defending from Inter at the back. Unfortunately, not able to get another proper chance on goal. Tich into Palacio. Finding his feet now, Jeremy Menez, and back in the action. Hopefully, he's not going to get a second injury of the series already inside six episodes. He missed three weeks at the start of the season thanks to an injury. This is his first game back. He uh, said to me in an email, boss, I'm ready to play. I'm ready to come back. I put him in the side, and he's picked up an injury. So, great. He didn't have the plaster symbol next to his name or anything. That's going to be a great header and a stunning Reaction save from uh, Gianluigi Donnarumma. What a strong arm that was to stop that from flying into the back of the net. Really good header. They're working the ball nicely here into really nicely. And they've scored a top, top goal as well. It's been coming. We had the best of the first half. Couldn't make the breakthrough. They've had the better of the second half to this point and have finally seen the first goal of the game. Felipe Melo, I think it was Melo that had the header in the first place and then what a shot on his left foot. Little flick, gets it back again and then just rifles it in the top corner. Nothing Donnarumma could do about that. Trying to reach up to his top left corner but didn't get anywhere near it. It's into one, Milan nil. Bernadeschi, go out to Decilio. This is probably going to be our last chance of an attack in the game. Niang has run straight into Gary Medell and there goes the final whistle. Defeat in the first ever Milan derby of the series, unfortunately. 1-0 in the away game against Inter Milan. We dominated the first half, had numerous chances, and Handanovic was in top, top form. And in the end, it just took a moment of quality from Felipe Melo to fire that into the top corner to give the away, the home side sorry, a victory. I'm disappointed with that, very disappointed. It's such an even game. Although at the end of the, second, at the, end of the first half, we'd had seven shots, four on target. In that second half, we only had one shot in the entire half. So we dominated the first half, didn't make it pay. They dominated the second, did. And it's a defeat, unfortunately. But the only way is up from there. We'll try and get a win in the next one. Corner for Palermo after 18 minutes. That is a deep one, actually, and could cause us some problems. We've been able to get it away. Back, I hopefully can get the turn on defender, which he can't do, but the ball will drop kindly to Decilio, who can send Carlos Backer away here. We'll turn inside the defender. I'm going to try and get away from him, but Carlos Backer, despite having a lot of pace, can't do exactly what I needed him to do in that situation, but he's won the ball back there very well indeed. And now we will hopefully break away at pace. We'll just lay it out there to El Shirawi, who has even more pace. We're just going to power around the outside and then maybe turn and get a cross in. Looking for a man in the middle. It's Maori underneath it, who's missed it. Completely missed the header. That was a great opportunity. Oh, we've still got the ball, though. Got it back again. I need someone to pass to. We'll give it out there to Bonaventura. We'll give it a crack from distance. Bonaventura saved by Sorrentino. Really good effort that was well saved by the goalkeeper. Antonelli can't get there quick enough. And now he's out of position. And Rispoli can come down the right-hand side of Palermo's attack and set up something, but he's passed it to a man's offside, thankfully. Well, a couple of good opportunities for us so far, but keep us on top. Oh, gets wiped out there. No foul given, though. El Sarawi will turn inside. Beat a couple of the defenders. Beat a couple more. Play it through the gap. Maori! Oh, what a save from Sorrentino. Goalkeepers in today's episode are playing out of their skin against me, unfortunately. Quickly get this from Maori towards Backer, but Struna will cut it out. We're having so many great chances, but Handanovic and now Sorrentino just don't want to let a goal in, unfortunately. Struna... Nice tackle by Antonelli, but still deflects back to Struna somehow. And now we're in, in trouble. Lazar could find a teammate. How's Vasquez not gotten that on target? They're not going to get a better clear-cut opportunity in this first half than that. And he's put it wide of the post. Big miss for Palermo and a let-off for us. We've got a free kick after 65 minutes. Montalivo is going to whip it in from this wide area. It's going in towards Ballo, who can't quite win the header, though. Antonelli might quickly be able to work this through to De Chilio. It's the right back, tries the shot. It gets blocked, or he gets tripped. Has the secondary effort, and it's straight at Sorrentino. This game has been like the second half against Inter. Corner for Palermo. Dangerous. Keeper's calm. He's got there, but he's going to leave his goal unguarded. Tonelli gets the header away. Can he get this out? Can we get this out? They've had another shot. Oh, I don't know where that was going. Over the top of the bar, thankfully. 20 minutes to go to get ourselves a winner here. Palermo haven't really offered much going forward. And thankfully we haven't been too tested defensively. But 
I just can't find the right final pass in the final third in this one. It's been incredibly frustrating. Oh, cross is... Cross deflected away from all the defenders straight to a Palermo man who has glanced the header into the bottom corner. I can't believe this episode is going the way it is so far. That first half against Inter was so, so good and the second half was so, so bad. And we've dominated this game as well, but that cross deflects and just the defender reacts perfectly. Or the, uh, sorry, the attacker reacts perfectly well to it. The defenders can't pick, up, pick the flight of the ball up. There's a great header into the bottom corner. Should Donnarumma be doing better with that? I don't know. It is. Mauri, space there for Bonaventura. Get it to Balotelli. Rolls the defender well. Mario Balotelli with a shot straight at Sorrentino. Oh, find the corner, mate. All you've got to do is find the corner and that's the goal. Bring that down. They're playing so defensive now, Palermo. You can see. Oh, come on, mate. That's not where I played that pass at all. You can see how defensive they're playing. I picked up the ball on the halfway line there and all but that one striker who I stupidly passed the ball to was still stood on the edge of Palermo's box. It's going to be ridiculously hard to try and break them down to get an equaliser here and now they're just going to start playing it around me. Great. 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 Just deal with the throw. Bonaventura ignores it. Fine. We'll squeeze it through to a teammate, though. Menez will get that through to Montalivo. Gets a good turn in. Montalivo for the equaliser again. Straight at Sorrentino. I'm trying to find the corners with these shots, but Balotelli, Montalivo, Menez, everybody so far has just found the goalkeeper's chest. And ref, surely that's a free kick. Right, chance. In the 88th minute, Balotelli's going to take it, not Bernaventura. Where are you, Balo? That's... Balotelli, now can we bend it over the wall and into the corner? Over the wall and over the bar. Oh, I'm starting to get really antsy here. I'm really starting to get pissed off at myself and my own inability to score a goal. To Niang, you can just see how deep the Palermo backline is. Mauri though, finds a bit of space. Mauri in the box. Oh, swings and misses at the ball when he takes this shot. I'm, I'm sure those of you that uh, know me well enough by now can imagine what's going through my mind and how hard I'm trying to stay controlled and not rage out of my complete mind right now. A 1-0 defeat again, this time against Palermo. I'm, I'm trying so hard to stay calm. Trying so hard to stay calm. So many chances in that game and so many chances in the first game as well. Nine shots, seven on target. Again, no goals. Ah... Right, Udinese next. I'm actually recording this after I've been to uh, the Cambridge United game. I recorded the first two games before I left and uh, didn't have enough time to get them finished. So went to the Cambridge United game, a vlog of which will be coming hopefully within the next couple of days. And then uh, I've come home and it's now time to play Udinese. Cambridge just beat Morecambe 7-0. So I'm hoping to transfer some of that luck on the pitch in real life into the pitch on FIFA because we haven't had the best of luck in the first two games. I've had a bit of a break, obviously. And uh, hopefully I shall play some better football this time around. So uh, let's see if we can get some better results, or a better result, away from home against Udinese. Oh, heavy touch. Bernadeschi steals it off the man. we get it to Kutska. Kutska with the shot. Oh, off the top of the bar. Get there for the rebound and square it into the middle where Backer's waiting. Backer actually gets a block on that. And in actual fact, that helps the defender get it clear. Well, there's the first chance of the game. Very close to a 1-0 lead away from home against Udinese after just 13 minutes. Unfortunately, though, the woodwork denies us, and now they may be in at the other end. Here's Duvan, Zapata, but he's offside. Barte, out to Kutska, nicely done. We'll play it over the top looking for El Sarawi, who should bring this down, and has done. Defender making a fool of himself, and we'll turn inside, and El Sarawi is in the box in a decent position. El Sarawi makes it AC Milan 1, Udinese 0, after 22 minutes. At last, we have a bit of luck in front of goal. We've scored our first of the episode, despite numerous chances against Inter and a handful against Palermo. It's just the second chance of the game that gives us a 1-0 lead here away from home against Udinese. Hopefully we can build on that. Still six to go to match Cambridge United, but one is a start. Oh, heavy touch from Danilo. Backer might get there. He shrugged him off it. Referee's not given a foul for the physical challenge. Verdi up against a couple of defenders here. Great feet. He's not the strongest, but we'll dink this into the middle. Looking for the man who's trying to get there ahead of the keeper. I think actually he ended up going through the keeper's legs and couldn't reach the ball for the header. Oh, Kutska with a powerful header. Unfortunately, though, couldn't direct it towards a teammate. Almero's going to come away with it. He's turned me nicely. Trying to get it back off him with Bernadeschi, but Almero's just too fast. Putting pressure on. Verdi wins the ball back. Uh, we'll go back this way. 
keep going. He's pushed past the defender. He's had the shot. That is really, really, really bad. Definitely left-footed. Verdi, definitely. That was an awful attempt on his right foot. Isn't he supposed to have a five-star weak foot, though? I think he's got four-star skills, five-star weak foot. Yeah, that definitely wasn't a five-star weak foot shot, was it, from, some, <laughs> from Verdi? Never mind. We are still 1-0 up after 54 minutes. Vedman into Kuzmanovic. I knew that turn was coming. We picked it off. Bertolacci is on the breakaway. Keisuke Honda isn't the fastest, but Baka's got some pace. We'll lay it out wide to Keisuke Honda and try and dink it back into the middle. Kevin Prince Boateng underneath it. It's going to come back to the Japanese international. A little bit into the box and Baka. It's not Baka. It's Kevin Prince Boateng has arrived there at the near post and just snuck in in between defender and goalkeeper. A little bit of a mix-up. I think the defender was waiting for the keeper to come and get it and the keeper was waiting for the defender to smash it clear in the end. KPB just walks in between the two of them and lashes that into the back of the net on the volley Meurs. 2 0 AC Milan. Badu on the edge of the box. Feeds in Di Natale nicely. Di Natale off the inside the post. And Armero gets there first. It's not Armero, it's Badu. Oh. As soon as we score a second, they pull one back and we only have a one goal advantage again. Never mind. Di Natale cutting inside really nicely. They brought him off the bench, having an instant impact. Helping, uh, helping Milan get, helping Milan, helping Udinese get back in the game. Great strike, and I thought the defender was going to get there first, but he just couldn't quite do it. Unfortunately, Udinese back in the game. Abate on the overlap. Armero though is just as quick as uh, the Italian. Squeeze that through the gap was meant for uh, Honda, but Bernadeschi will get it to KPP. KPP can't score. Good save by the keeper. Honda will take the. The, uh, the corner, and that's a great delivery. Up goes Alex, I think that was actually. I was in control of El Sarawi, but it was Alex the Brazilian that won that header. Unfortunately, 13 minutes to go, that went wide. Lodi with the touch, trying to put him under pressure, but doesn't matter how much pressure you put him under, it doesn't matter anymore if the referee blows his final whistle. Three points in the uh, third game of the episode. Relief, pleased with that, good performance, slightly disappointed with the way that we gave away the goal, but it was definitely better than the two games we played earlier on. Again though, lots of chances created, only three on target though this time, two of them though ended up in the back of the net, which is what we needed. We'll head into the next episode tomorrow and hopefully we can have a better overall uh, three results, but at least we got a win in the third and final game today. Tomorrow we'll have Genoa. We will also have Napoli and Torino. So some big games in there, especially that Napoli one. But for now, that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too if you haven't to this point to ensure you don't miss out on any more content. And for now, I'll see you next time.